So it's trying to, you know, showing what's possible to the PC brand so they might go out. Oh. Play and experience no pixel loss. And look at that. No pixel loss. Again? What we have been able to achieve is the highest military standards from temperature shocks like high 60 degrees to minus 20, uh, acceleration, drop tests, as well as icing to make sure that the user is confident that the OLED foldable display that you buy is going to be perfect no matter what the user scenario is. We need to be super fast. So every time that your cat comes from, like, wants to go inside, we check its face and scan like every image of it to detect two different things. Sure. So with the chip, you want to make sure that only your cat is allowed to come inside and no. <laughs> We take a 30 second selfie video and we actually analyze the blood flow patterns underneath the skin to output vital signs and health measurements. So 30 seconds and we're able to capture uh, quite a lot of information. This is clearly not really the future of driving, but it's more a fun concept to investigate some of the possibilities around eye tracking technology and how users can interface with the car. We're not suggesting that you would remote control a car while you are looking at a mobile device.
The push for AI in products is both driven by us as a brand, but also by consumer demand, because just look at what happens around us. AI is everywhere, so people of course start asking, like, how can it help me in my private life at home? Order Medica V3, the streamer, the stalker. I thought the AI demos were really great. I thought that they were a step um, ahead of what we've seen. Um, it wasn't it wasn't gigantically innovative. It wasn't like a big wow moment, but it was kind of a natural evolution of how we're going to use AI. Yeah, so it's the smallest person. That's right, yeah. But what's really important here is these phones were built from the ground up to take full advantage of Apple's new Apple intelligence software.